Good evening and salutations, my Days of Alive fans. So, let's talk about that board meeting. <laughs> oh, Days knows how to bring the heat. I love it. I love it. I'm going to be honest, I really enjoyed this episode. I think I remember saying yesterday the episode wasn't really that great. I mean, granted, it was still better than GH. But, um, today's EJ. I haven't watched the old EJ, okay? I don't know what kind of lengths he would go through to get what he wants. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Um, you know, every time I think of EJ, now I think of the show Lucifer. And I'm just like, EJ acts more like Lucifer than Lucifer on his own damn show. I mean, he calls out Ava, sits there and says he's, she's talking to ghosts, this, that, and the third. All that stuff, you know, just throwing out all sorts of accusations. Now, granted, we know it's true, more or less, but to everyone in that room, including Shin's dad, which, by the way, what is Shin's dad's name? Um, those are all these accusations, right? Now, granted, Gabby and Shin is like, we have no idea what the hell he's talking about. We, we, we don't, what, what are you talking about? And they lie. They lie, and at this point, I was like, AJ, please tell me you have more than just that. You know, just a bunch of accusations that you can't prove. Because even since that, it's like, all right, well, I mean, they're saying that that didn't happen. You've been known to be a liar in the past. And he's like, we know that you want to sit in BC. I'm like, I know that. So that's what you really have. And he's like, no, no, no. He pulls out his cell phone. It's a recording of Johnny backing up his statement as far as, you know, um, Ava and her being paranoid and everything. You know, uh, well, not paranoid, but just hallucinating, seeing um, Jake and touching him and stuff like that. So it backs up his claim. So at this point, Shen's dad is like, all right, first of all, Gabby and Shen, you just lied to me, okay? I, I ain't a fan of that. But then he's like, um, Ava's not out, like, like, um, she won't be able to have any voting, you know, be able to vote one way or the other until we be able to sit there and check her out as far as maybe, I don't know, a trip to the therapist or something like that. He's like, she's not out yet. But she can't really make any votes right now. So with that being out the way, he's just like, okay, I got this. So now he's like, I want to call Cheryl's name right now. You know, she's out. And, um, you know, there's no reason why I can't sit and be a CEO. We can just go right back to the original agreement. And at this point, I'm like, wow, okay. You just use your own damn son. To testify against Ava. You used him like he was a tool. Not like he was your son. Remember the last time we saw EJ being concerned with his son? After the whole devil... Um, I thought something happened to my wife for a second. After the whole devil possession and him being malnourished and everything like that. Remember how touching that was? He was even snipped there confiding in Rafe. Yeah, that pretty much all went out the window because, you know, it's about EJ. You know, he, he got to be in power and he has to then use whoever to do it. Even Tony was like, wow, okay. So Johnny was like, whoa, you might want to just slow your roll on trying to call another shareholders meeting. Because who, who, who says it's actually going to go your way? And he pretty much tells him flat out. Yo, we vote right now. I'm voting for Gabby. After you just used me, after I confided in you, you used your own son's um, vulnerable moment to confide in you to use it towards your advantage. But once again, 
put this woman down. He done seriously lost it at this point. And um, he's like, I'm voting for, I'm voting for Gabby. So now Shin's smiling. Gabby's gloating. And you know what? I gotta let that rock. I gotta let that rock the first time, you know, it was a close one. Alright, the first time was a close one. But, that time it was unanimous. Again. And so, Gabby was gloating. I had to sit there and give Gabby her props. I mean, well, not really Gabby her props, but I had to sit there and let her shine. Because I'm like, you can't even say anything, AJ. And I like you. And <laughs> you can't even say anything. So, that being said, the meeting was adjourned. Gabby still held power. And EJ was, EJ was so angry. This dude was so angry. He literally was, it's almost like something just snapped inside him. He's like, I won't forget this. And the way he said it, his emotion and everything like that was like, my goodness. I felt that through the TV. Okay? So he walked off. Shen pretty much just, what do you say? What do you say? Shen pretty much reminded Gabby and Shen that he was not happy with them both lying to his face. And when, when Shen was like, yo, listen, she's doing a good job. She's making the company profitable and everything like that. She's running it well. And Shen's dad had to sit there and remind her, like, yo, listen, you didn't get here on your own merit. Okay? You're only here because of your deceased husband. Let's just remember that. And I stood there and I was like, oof, that hurt. That, I was like, that hurt. And I'm not like, I'm not even a huge Gabby fan. I was like, yeah, I felt bad. Um, not that they, everything was settled. And Shen was like, you know, let's not apologize. My dad talked to me like that. I apologize for letting him talk to you like that. Not really stepping in and, and doing more. Yeah, I was like, no, 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 that's fine. You know, I got thick skin and everything like that. I'm just more worried about you. And, you know, the fact that he lied for Gabby. But at this point, you know, with everything that he's doing behind the scenes, why not? Why not back Gabby at this point? You know, he's all in because at this point, you know, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's just pretty obvious. It's like he's all the way in. He came to sit there and be like, yeah, you know, I shouldn't have lied. I should have really... No, he's in it. He's in it. And that's, that's, that's just the end of it. So, that happened. EJ is fuming. Okay, you can feel the fire coming from him. You know, Tony's like, hey, you know, listen, you try. He hands him a drink. He's like, you know, just, just let it go. Eva walks in there, says her piece. EJ's like, you need to go. Now, Johnny comes in there. Johnny's like, yo, listen, she leaves out here. Okay? You you already did enough to this woman. Johnny's like, yo, you don't want to lose your son over this. Let it go. <laughs> He's over there in the corner like, let it go, bro. Let it go. It's not worth it. He's just like, all right, fine. We both say some things and they walk away. Johnny's like, you did the right thing. You don't want to sit there and lose your son over this. And he hands him another drink. He's fuming so much that he can't even be bothered to, like, drink it before he chucks it. He just chucks it against the wall. He yells. Tony was like, yeah, I kind of knew that was coming. But, um, <sighs> and it's a good thing Tony's there. It really is, you know, because I, I can't imagine what he would have did if, if he told him to just you know, kick rocks and then try to go and get him afterwards. Like, it just, it just wasn't worth it. EJ is, he's fuming, okay? He's having a, had a really bad day. Now, on top of that, he makes somebody else day bad. Sean. He could have called her cell phone. He called the landline because he knew it would get under Sean's skin, okay? Sean's sitting there working out like crazy. He's talking to Bella like, yo, EJ called. He's angry. He's fuming. 
and you know Bella's like you know I get he cool just to get on your skin but it's, it's at a point where Bella's like you need to do something you need to yell you need to scream you need to kick me out but tiptoeing around this whole thing is it's not working you know she she wanted she didn't want us to think, go look back with him so that way they could be roommates. Like, she wants to go back to being husband and wife. But she's wondering, she's like, you know, can he really get past the infidelity? And there's one point she's like, all right, you know, she starts trying to kiss him. And, you know, he pushes her off. Like, yo, listen, what, what are you doing? And Brady gets in there because Brady wants to then talk about the custody. So he goes for a run. And runs into Chloe. And Chloe's like, you got to sit there and decide on what you want to do. Because he moved her back in. And I don't know if you were punishing her or whatever. But if you can't get past this, you need to sit there and let her know. Because he basically was like, she did everything that she could. And she is right about that. Okay? Now, Sean does get back there. Bella agrees to represent um, Brady and tells him that Chloe doesn't have to testify to make the case work. And at, at the best scenario is that he gets, you know, um, they get joint, he gets joint custody. That's his best case scenario. Um, Sean comes back and, you know, he's like, you know, I'm tired of this back and forth or whatever. And he agrees to make it work by saying, hey, go in the shower. You should join me. I don't, I don't know. I, I just, I, I feel like just using, you know, intimacy to try to just get past it. I, I don't feel like that's, that's going to work. I mean, it's going to work because it has to work. Okay, it has to work because people want them together. They don't care what she does. Let's just be very clear. There's people that will sit there and say, I want Bella and Sean, to, Sean together, and I don't care what she did. Now, to me, that's absolutely insane. Okay, to sit there and say that she can go out, do whatever she wants, but because you find them so cute together, you're going to throw all logic, common sense, all that just out the window, and you want them together. So they got to find a way to make it work. That means that Sean is just going to have to suck it up. <sighs> it would be a cold day in hell before I just say, you know what? We'll have intercourse a couple of times. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. There's no way in hell. And I, I really feel like he did the wrong move because there was one point where it's like he couldn't find the words and Bella was like, all right, you know, listen, we'll eat tonight, uh, pack up one stuff, and I'll be out in the morning. And honestly, to tell you the truth, I really wanted him to sit there and say, yeah, that's the, that's the best case. I, that's, that's what you should do. I wanted him to sit there and be like, no, that this isn't going to work, that I can't get past this. Because it's a human thing. Don't get me wrong. There are people that can sit there and find a way to get past infidelity. Bless their hearts. Okay? Bless their hearts. And maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'll just look at the situation and I'm just like, bro, how did you just get past this? And not just once. But twice. Okay, this isn't the first time that she did that. It's not. And for the second time, you're just like, yeah, that's cool. It's, it's okay. Why? Because you did something with, with, um, I'm like, what the hell is, what is her name? Jan Spears. Because you did something with Jan Spears, that eh, kind of evens out. Bro, if that's your way of justifying it, Anyway, let's just move on because I, I, I just, I, hmm. So, yeah, from yesterday, Rachel walks up to Chloe and is like, 
why you don't want me to why you don't want to why you don't want me to be with my mom? I'm like Chloe, answer the question. Why don't you want her to be with her mom? And she's like, oh no, that's that's not what I said. That's not honey, that's not what I no 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 you're not a lost words, use your words. Okay, you're a grown woman, use your words, okay? It's not hard. Just be honest. Because she asked you a question. Brady comes in there, tries to smooth it over. And Rachel's like, nah, nah, nah. I can't rock with this woman. I can't stand her. She's angry. And Brady's all like, well, you know, he tries to tell her in a way where it's like she's going to have to testify and this, that, and the third. And she just, she's just not having it. She ain't having it. She's angry. And Brady's like, you know, listen, why don't you just go back and play with your friend? I'm like, Chloe, I don't feel bad for you. I understand that Kristen has done some horrible things. Okay? But I feel like if, first of all, the fact that she is a mother, I don't know, I guess because Kristen has done so much things to her that I can see how even though that they're both mothers, that she wouldn't have any sort of empathy for her. But given all the stuff that Kristen has done to her, I can understand. <laughs> I, I, I get it. But yeah, Chloe is her and she's upset. Brady tries to smooth it over the best he can. It's like, you know, listen, I got to go and talk to Bella. After he finished talking to Bella, he comes back. He's like, you know, listen, good thing is that you don't have to testify. But, you know, she's still worried. Chloe's still worried that Rachel is going to hate her. And that's a very difficult situation to be in. You know? that you, You're dating someone. Their child can't stand you. <laughs> like, if, 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 if their child don't like you, you must just... I don't want to sit there and say you should call it quits, but what is the parent going to do? Side with you over over their own child? And don't get me wrong, I've seen that. Okay, I've seen that. Especially when that person is a terrible human being and the parent, because they want that person in life so much that they're willing to ignore the child, like, hey... You give them a chance. You just shut your mouth. We're we're good. We're happy. I'm finally happy. And you put your needs ahead of them. Now, don't get me wrong. That doesn't mean that you should let your child dictate what you do. At the end of the day, you are the parent. But, I mean, come on. It's a very tricky, very tricky thing. And sometimes, you just have to be the bigger person. Like, you know what? This is not going to work out. And I'm not going to have, I'm not going to affect your relationship with your child just because of me. I love you and I care about you way too much. That's the proper answer. Just saying. Now, all of that's going on. You got Ruff in the lab making sure that Stefan is going to despise Gabby and is going to be Head heels in love with Chloe. So we go through this whole memory lane thing. And I enjoyed it. Okay. I enjoyed it. You know, I, I came into this like maybe two years. You know, I started reviewing like maybe this show 2020. This show I started reviewing 2020. Because GH was on lockdown. And Days was coming back on and people were like, you should you should do days, you'll like it. And the minute that somebody was like, Oh, listen, it even has one of the writers from One Like Live, I was like, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm so that's it. And it took a little bit. It took about three days. I would sit there and say, just because I didn't know the players, I didn't even know the names. The motivations and everything like that is always very difficult. Watching a new soap opera. When you don't know who to root for. You don't know the names like I said. And it's just weird. It's like you're. Jumping in the story. That you don't really know what's going on. Which is why they always. 
repeat certain things as far as what they say, conversations, just to catch new people up. But, I mean, I am so thankful that I subscribed because, like I said, there's days where days is actually better than JH. Today was one of them. Don't get me wrong, JH was definitely a step in the right, right direction. Days killed me. So, anyway, he assured Kristen that Stefan is going to be, you know, madly in love with Chris, um, with, with Chloe. And every time he thought about a happy moment with, with Gabby, he would send him pain. It really kind of just makes sure the conditioning was working. So it should be really, really, really interesting. And everything is said and done. And um, Stefan wakes up. He wakes up and Gabby's going to sit there and mm, Gabby's going to want him back. And we're going to find out exactly the lengths that he's going to do. Because if you thought that just doing all this stuff was bad, no, 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 no. And to paraphrase what Brock TV said, this dude is giving lifetime vibes as far as ruining your life. So, <laughs> again, when Stefan is awake and he's out and about and Gabby sees, let's just think about all, you know, imagine all the things that, like, if you thought what he was doing was bad before, imagine what he's going to go, what he's going to do now to make sure he keeps Gabby. Might even be another murder mystery. Who knows? Anyway, I feel like that's pretty much about it. At least all the pertinent information, like I always say, um, that I did. I know I was supposed to do a live today. And I'm like, I can do a live. I can watch YNR. I haven't watched YNR. I miss it. And if I get through YNR in a reasonable manner, I can do a review on it. I feel like if I if I'm gonna do a live, I should probably do a little bit early. That means me waking up early, like at eight thirty, so I can get my breakfast and shower and everything like that. And then I can do a live for like you know, like an hour and a half. And I know by doing my live, depending on what time I do it. Probably going to wind up running into James, or JOJ Media's live, because he always does his lives at a certain time. And I didn't want to do my live when he does his live, but I feel like if I don't do it at some point, the next day I'm going to probably have is a Saturday, and... <sighs> I mean, I guess I could do a Saturday, but... I don't know. I really want to sit there and try to do another one this week. It's just been... <sighs> And I, and I enjoy doing these reviews, but I don't know. Like I said, I, I feel like I'm making, I'm going to be making some changes soon and we'll just sit there and say, but I, I don't know exactly what kind of changes I'm going to make. This is why I'm just not really saying too much. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Be safe. And I'll see you in the next video.